What's going on guys? This is Erie Better Beer Brew with another beer review. I'm Pat, Maury, Dave, and Mark. Today we got a big one here. This is Bo and Luke. This is from Against the Grain Brewery out of Louisville, Kentucky. 13% Imperial Stout. And apparently the uh, Against the Grain guys, it's a smokehouse and a brewery. They use rye, barley, corn. They smoke their own malts on applewood. Cherry wood. Uh, cherry wood, yeah. yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah cherry, cherry wood, you're right. Cherry wood smoked uh, malts. I can't wait to get into this one. Sounds like an interesting beer, and it's got some sweet artwork. Well, there's the smoke. Oh, yeah. That's like bacon. <laughs> I mean, it's Man. definitely the front runner in the aroma. Yeah, I do get a little bit of bourbon sweetness. And there's a and, dark fruitiness. Right yeah, and a little there. dark yeah. fruits, yeah. Almost uh, leathery. Yeah, a little bit of kind of like a leather. Kind of I agree. Of tannin, I'm so definitely yeah, getting get that leather. leathery. I think the smoked malts has helped bringing out yeah, that like leathery they're the, component. They're definitely the star of the show, though. I yep. mean, wow. Yeah, there's almost like a charcoal smell. To yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the uh, smoked malts are so you know prominent that you're not getting like the chocolate and the coffee and some of the sweetness that you would normally get in an imperial stout right. that's almost non-existent which makes me much more curious to take a taste of this and see how Absolutely. much that carries yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cheers very smoky all around wow Although I think it's less smoky than it smells, yeah, you can right. get the other flavors. Mm -hmm. Judging by the way it smelled, I thought it was going to be even more smoky. Right. That's not to take away from the fact that this is a smoky beer. Right. It definitely is. I get a little more of the bourbon sweetness. I'm even getting a little vanilla flavor in there, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm definitely getting. Yeah, like I'm getting a little bit of maybe, maybe a little molasses or something. And the sweetness. smoke like kind of waves in at you. I mean, it comes right off the bat. Then it, for me, it goes into some <laughs> vanilla sweetness and maybe a little bit of bourbon. And then the smoke makes a second appearance. I'm not getting any bourbon, but. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of yeah. bourbon, but it's mostly, I feel like, it, in this beer, the beer really picked up that vanilla character from the barrels. Right. Yeah. I think that vanilla character is blending with the smoked flavor of this beer nicely. Mm -hmm. What is a little different for me is that there's not a lot of oak component to this beer. There's actually a pretty significant alcohol taste on the back end. All right, Bone Luke, uh, my score, I'm gonna give it a 4.25. Um, a lot of things are just right. Um, just the right amount of smoke, you know, it's not overbearing. Just the right amount of sweetness. Uh, the bourbon, I wish there was a little bit more of a, a bourbon mm -hmm. flavor to it. Uh, but for, a, for an Imperial Stout, you know, this is a, they did a damn good job. So uh, 4.25. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you on your score. 4.25 for me. If, uh, if the bourbon flavor was notched up yeah. a little bit, and if it had a little bit thicker mouthfeel, it'd definitely be in the four and a half to even right. four seven five range for me. Um, but right as is, I like the smoke flavor. I'm not a huge smoke beer fan, but I really it's working in this beer. And then I'm loving all those other flavors like the vanilla, the cocoa, that little hint of bourbon, and some of the uh, leathery earthiness that's coming out as I'm settling into this. So yeah, I'm gonna go four and a quarter. I'm gonna go one notch lower. I still think it's a fantastic beer. Obviously, I'm gonna give it a four. Uh, I really like the vanilla flavor from the barrels blending with the smoked malts. I like those two flavors together a lot. Uh, as these guys mentioned, uh, I could use a little bit more on the mouthfeel, but personally, I don't mind that the bourbon's not like huge on this particular beer. It lets right. some of the other flavors shine, and to me still, when I drink it, it's obvious that it's a barrel-aged beer. So, yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Yeah, I'm also gonna give this beer a four out of five. <clears throat> there is a solid smokiness throughout this beer. And I do enjoy the mix of other flavors that go on during the smokiness, but the smokiness never ever really goes away in this beer. Um, as I'm drinking more of it, I'm actually getting, you know, a tiny hint of green apple on it, in addition to the vanilla and the very light bourbon characteristics mm -hmm. of this beer. Mouthfeel is, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I don't expect it to be any fuller at 13%. 
but it's pretty solid. I'll give this one a four out of five. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.